Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to Girl Talk. I've got a little bit of mess and a little bit of drama today for you guys. The last couple of days in Shantopolis have been an absolute roller coaster. Yesterday during my live stream, we took a look at a new live stream that was put out by Allah Shabib. Now during this video, I'm going to start off by quickly breaking down what went on in that live stream for those of you that don't have the time to watch it. And then we are going to take a look at last night's video from Chantel, where Salah and her actually sat down to address the things that Allah has been saying about them. It's safe to say that this Kuwait bees and the facade that they have been putting on is finally starting to crumble. At the end of the day, this is a case of he said, she said, and you can choose to believe who and what you want to believe. Let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? All right, you guys, welcome back to our Shantopolis World update. We are surely starting off the year with a big bang. You can say that again. Kuwait Bees, as we have known it, is no longer, which is a good thing. The happy couple is no longer able to keep up this facade that they have been projecting for us. We had seen the cracks forming since the beginning, like, oh, trust and believe, but we were never able to fully confirm, of course, everything that was going on. It was merely rumor and speculation. How is it that we are always right though? You know what I mean? Like we're always right. There was no one on the inside though willing to come forward. But of course, when it comes to Chantal, uh, patience, it takes patience. But eventually everything comes unraveled like clockwork. Enter Allah Shabib, our new side character, possible contender for side character of the year. And it's only January 4th. Yesterday, we took a look at his brand new live stream entitled Now I Will Go Live. For those of you that don't have time to watch the full live stream, I understand and I've got you. So the first thing you need to know is that Allah is Salah's ex friend. They're no longer on speaking terms at this time. Allah alleges on his live stream the following. The marriage is fake. He had to reinforce his couch so that she wouldn't break it. She can't fit in a bathroom. Chantal gave Salah a lot of money, allegedly 9,000 Canadian dollars. She paid for the ring that she showed off and for half of a car for them. Salah and Chantal are broke and he had to sell his car to pay debts. Chantal did not help with the cleaning during the camping trip. Salah told Allah flat out he was with her for money, help with YouTube, and entry to Canada based. Allah has a lawyer looking into the situation after Chantal made nasty allegations about his marriage, alleging they had four men living with them at one time. So that's kind of a quick summary of the allegations. Again, the full video is there if you want to watch my reaction. This man really blew up their spot. Allah insists that Salah is like a brother to him, and Chantal is a Sharmuta who will go from country to country, man to man, looking for partners in new YouTube content, and he doesn't like seeing his brother get used like this. I am of the opinion at this point that these two are both, they have both told lies, sold each other stories that just aren't true. And now they are stuck together, at least for the time being. So I don't feel sorry for either of them. Neither of them are innocent in this situation, but they made their bed and now they can lie in it together. I love that for you. Have fun. <laughs> so as to be expected, Chantal is not exactly happy about her entire new arc being undone. Our queen has put a lot of work into this new facade. So to see it crumble just like that, all it took was one person to knock down her house of guards. But to be honest, this is the best thing that could have happened for her right now. People were done with Foodie Beauty. It was all fake nonsense and she was acting, but not anymore. It does make you wonder and it is possible. There are always the folks that believe that this is all orchestrated. I don't blame anyone for thinking that. I mean, the timing just seems too good to be true, but Salah seemed pretty upset. I just can't see Salah acting this out and it being believable. It's funny to me that Chantal thinks that this is all the pushback from online is all like a hive mind situation that we aren't thinking for ourselves. But the truth is, is that everywhere she goes in the world, she makes enemies even all the way over in Kuwait. And these people had no idea really who she was. Clearly, it's not 
everybody else that's wrong. She didn't lift a finger to help the other women, or so Allah says. People talk, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter what country, what culture, what city, what tribe. People talk, and I think that the women in this friend group could see through her BS a mile away. You don't even need to know the backstory. I mean, this is their culture. So Salah and Chantal came on last night to address all of the looming allegations and drama in a video entitled Let's Bees with the thumbnail saying that it was going to be a rage. So they start off the video. This was really Salah's time to shine. They're claiming that Allah is bitter because Salah cut him off as a friend. Salah claims that Allah is the biggest person that he has ever seen, but he is fat shaming my wife. How does that make sense? The two of them play a voicemail that Salah received from Allah after the camping trip, this voicemail was left on November 29th. Now, I am going to provide you guys with a rough translation. In order to write this translation, I used Salah's translation as well as Mo Translate's video, which I will go ahead and link down below if you want to hear the audio for yourself. Here goes. <clears throat> Listen, you animal. I would be stupid if I didn't break down your door. I would be stupid if I didn't contact the police and tell them about the Sharmuta you are shacked up with. Delete the camping video. My wife and Murad's wife are not maids to your Sharmuta. Why are you showing my car? Delete it now. It's not right what you are doing in regards to shacking up with Chantal. I will go to the authorities. It's unbelievable. So I'm getting the feeling that Allah sees what these two are doing as morally reprehensible and he is putting it out there for the world to see. Now, in my opinion, like, obviously, I don't care if two people are hanging out out of wedlock, like, but it is funny how everything that they kind of projected is not exactly the truth, is it? So let's get down to the truth. These two claim that they have something in the works that they can't talk about. Allegedly, they're speaking to lawyers or something like that. Most of the time on the internet, when people bring up lawyers, it is just empty threats so that they can try to silence the opposition. Now, Allah had also said that he was talking to lawyers and even mentioned he had gotten messages from lawyers in Canada. Um, I could see people that don't like Chantal messaging him saying that they're a lawyer in Canada. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't aren't. But do I see this actually going somewhere legally? No, not definitely not in Canada. No. What was really interesting is that Chantal actually let it slip that she has a hearing on January 30th. Now this hearing is in regards to the debt that she owes. Remember, it came out that she had went bankrupt and she wouldn't be able to sponsor Salah for citizenship. But she said that she has this figured out and that she will be able to sponsor him if this hearing hearing goes well. She also talks about having a payment plan for her taxes and everything is up to date. So she doesn't have to worry about that. Take that all with a grain of salt. It could be true. It could not be. I did watch the live stream. It felt like that that was a slip up. Like she didn't want to reveal that she had a hearing on January 30th, but it just came out. So this is going to be actually a couple of days after she comes back to Canada. I believe as of right now, she is leaving on the 28th of January. January. Of course, that could change, but who knows? They claim that they have a case against Allah for the things that he has been saying about them. Really, this is like a back and forth. They've both said things that are not the best. Chantal has allegations of her own, claiming that Allah is flexing all of this money and stuff and trying to pretend that he is something, but he has kids back in the Philippines and he won't give them money or bring them over to Kuwait. She also says that him showing that picture of their bed is very haram. And Chantal still claims that she doesn't pay for everything, citing that in the beginning of her trip, she didn't know how to transfer money over that she was able to use in Kuwait, and that Salah's business is a decent supplementary income. Well, what exactly is Salah's business? Well, apparently he has a business with his friend Murad. They are 50-50 on this company and they are selling perfumes to markets in Kuwait. I think that they are kind of like those imitation perfumes, you know, like the ones they sell at CVS and it says like inspired by Gucci on the bottle, kind of like that, but it didn't seem 
that legitimate to me coming in these plastic squirt bottles. But it is possible that those are simply samples and not the final product. Salah claims that this is a very successful business for him. Chantal seems kind of happy and smug with this situation. Maybe she realizes that drama sells. It certainly didn't stop her from chowing down on fast food during the live stream. Chantal says that she did help the women during the camping trip, but I just don't believe that. These two keep saying that what he is doing is not legal in Kuwait. That is their trump card, if you will. Salah and Chantal think that he is doing this just to make money and get views, which is interesting because Allah also put up a video showing his trip to Georgia, and I don't mean Atlanta. Salah and Chantal still claim that they are married, but there are a lot of different marriages over there. Obviously, this is that temporary kind, but she won't admit that. She did, however, admit to breaking a couch. They were upset because Allah asked for Chantal number, which she gave him, mind you, because he read it out on the live stream yesterday. And Salah says he shouldn't have done that without permission, which I can, I can understand that. Another man asked your girl for a number. I can understand why he would be upset with that one. So that's kind of what started this along with the friend group generally not liking Chantal. She didn't give him money, guys. That's all a lie. Believe it or don't. I just wanted to end by saying that both parties provided very little proof of the claims that they have made or in defense of the claims being made. So you guys can choose to believe what you want to believe or what you don't want to believe. It doesn't matter to me. This is all rumor, speculation, drama, and opinion, but just keep that in mind. Anyways, she also put up a video today, a strange video where she is singing. Um, and there was also another couple's vlog yesterday. Check out this clip. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.